yo, this is your boy Tony. I'm coming through another episode of Backyard Comedy. With always, I got my boy, Oh, Skeety Baby. Please, say the baby. Yeah, you already know. <clears throat> that really do you. I got over there. Really here in the flesh and the spirit, bro. What up? I'm your boy, Boca 26, and we here today with my man, Pedro. Oh, yeah. How you doing, <laughs> bro? Wow. What's going on, man? Hey, man, before we get on into you, man, I was going to talk about the last episode. We had Miss Ashley Brown. Mm-hmm. She came through and talked about it. She was in the military as well. Yeah, she was. Talk about, you know, how she get down with the breathing, with the hair, the UFC, uh, rocking as a single mother, holding it down, and all yeah. aspects as a black woman. Shout out to you. Appreciate you. Yeah. Uh, she came through last time, man. It was, it was a great conversation. If you haven't checked it out, it's streaming right now on YouTube. Go check it out right now. Yeah. So, yeah, click that button. Like, share, and subscribe. So on this episode We got Pedro What's up with you my brother Hey man Ain't nothing to it yeah, But to yeah. do it If I can't handle that thing I'ma screw it Oh, <laughs> oh <geez. laughs> Hey man I so know that's right Let's get on into it We, we, we started talking about it A little bit man uh, Let's let's talk a little bit About your your, your your military background man How long did you stay In, in the military uh, I just hit 20 years About two weeks Ooh. ago Wow Congratulations That's, Congratulations. that's Congratulations. a mess I appreciate that y'all It's been a long And stressful ride I yeah. won't say that I, I can like imagine. that big girl I met at the corner store the other day. <laughs> Once you want that thing, you want that thing. Hey, man, and hey. Ain't no getting off. Yeah, real talk. Yes, it's going to be a payoff. <laughs> what made you want to get into the military? Hey, man, that's one of those things, man. Like I said, what we spoke earlier about yeah. being second generation. I'm mm-hmm. actually like sixth generation. Okay. okay. So wow. when I was a little boy, uh, my uncles would pass down their old uniforms mm-hmm. and I turn it into a ghillie suit and be out there. Yeah. Trying to shoot birds yeah, and rabbits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's wow. thing you know, man. The war happened. It was a no brainer for me. Now, originally, I wanted to be a pilot, mm-hmm. but as I grew older, I didn't get no taller, so I was she, afraid of heights. She showing that ring, dog. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was, yeah. I was, I was, I was afraid of heights, so I, I've been a, a cannoneer. I shoot them big guns, man. Yeah, that's what's up. So, man. Wow. Yeah. So that's what's up. So you say you've been in the war, like which which war was that? Oh, uh, the Iraq War. The Iraq War, and uh, also known as well half of the global war on terrorism. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. And man. How was that over there, like because you know. I seen some people and that like, you don't even act like you've been to war. Like how how did that war play on your your mindset, especially as a black man? Uh, uh, first of all, comedy being funny has helped me, uh, you know, get through some of the most terrible and dark times I've ever had. And like you, you probably you know a lot of comedians come up now. I guarantee a lot of them have a military background because in order to keep that sanity, man, you got to be you got to be, gotta be positive, yeah. optimistic, yeah. be funny. Yeah, yeah, That's I can imagine, sure. man. You uh, probably to see some crazy shit. I'm, I'm yeah. glad that you spoke about a, a black man's perspective because it's something we don't talk about because our voice is not Indeed. heavy enough to even go off into that level. Mm-hmm. But I saw some stuff that uh, stereotypically and what's been told historically shouldn't happen to me. And, and over there, you know, people would run up to me all the time. Yeah. You know, uh, I think one of the names they called me was Mark Henry. <laughs> <Those people. laughs> oh boy. When, when they needed assistance, they ran up to me. They didn't. They didn't. They didn't rush to my counterparts because they yeah. knew that they were going to be uh, well, r- well, racist towards them, horrible yeah, yeah, towards yeah. them. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. we did. We, we did. So I, I can't take myself out of that equation. We did some horrible stuff over there. Yeah. Yeah. But for the most part, yeah. when they looked at me, it wasn't like the stuff that was depicted right. back home. Yeah, it was yeah. like, hey man, yeah. you know. Let me, let's let's go talk to him. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. The, and and, and yeah. that's what we face over here in America. Yeah, you feel what I'm saying? You got so, that, yeah. that. You know, we've been labeled at that time super predators. You know, we look at you. Okay, he's up to no good. <laughs> over there or anywhere I've been to is a complete opposite. Yeah. Complete yeah. option. Yeah. Hey, you know, I'm just waiting on Oprah to show up at my house telling me that this uh, six foot one Filipino dude is my son. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> bro. Hey, you. Hey, 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 so hey, 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 you never. Hey, you. Hey, you never know. You my, travel hey, like that, brother. I was just told don't bring them back. I mean, they say which that's, part. Hey, that's what they say. That's what they say. <laughs> so, yo, <laughs> this dude so, bro. so what? So, what made you? Because man, my dad was a marine, and he got out. I think about six years, but what made you want to continue and go over to the to the army after getting out of out of the Marines? So like, the your, yeah, I couldn't even get that out because I could, I'm like I would not do that. Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you know, um, it was one of those periods, man. I felt like I needed to be surrounded by people who understood what I was going on, was going real. through, you know. And at this yeah. time, I had plenty of friends yeah. who are no longer with us, you know. Uh, mm-hmm. Take the ultimate hey, salute, salute, salute. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's yeah. like uh, when you when you leave it, you don't want to be there full time, right? And it just so happened in North Carolina. North Carolina has one of the best 
uh, National Guards there is to offer. And okay. everything that I did in the Marine Corps, they had. So I didn't have to go do no extra training. I didn't have to right. go to boot camp again. Mm -hmm. It was yeah. like, hey, sign this piece of paper and we'll give you a uniform. Okay. And I yeah. to be around people. Who, mm, yeah. We like don't do NBA this every draft. day. Yeah, yeah like, NBA, like NBA, I was yeah. a free agent. You know? Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. Without yeah. a start, without a bonus, bring the bonuses back. <laughs> yeah, and uh, yeah. that was a no-brainer, man. And, and I've been, I've been there since 2009. Met some great people, uh, guys I consider my brothers and, and sisters, and yeah. like we talk literally every day. That's and real, it's man. been real. Uh, essential as to like how my mindset goes, and we we, we try to look out for each other every day. Okay. Yeah, and and and, and I want I want to piggyback off of Onyx with that real quick, man. I just want to ask you this because you just said you know you had friends that you know that was lost in battle whatever the case may be. I mean, how do you handle that knowing you know you're going to war with these people wow. and, and they beside you one minute you oh get yeah. out get out then you look over you know what I'm saying and yeah. they gone like, like how do how do you keep going like because for me personally. If, if I'm in the midst of one of them boys and, and that like, I'm done, you feel yeah, what I'm saying? I don't want to go back. Out, you want to get how, out? How do you continue yeah. to go on? You know, like I said, man, it just got to be. A, uh, I don't know what it is. Call it brainwashing, but mm -hmm. you know, you don't even think about it that way. Now, there was a certain incident. One of my uh, good friends, best friends, I'm pretty sure we was related He's from Louisiana too. We was like mm -hmm. two peas in a pod. He, and uh, like I'm, I'm, you know, just got off a of rotation and his, uh, he's in another unit, but we all mm -hmm. live kind of close. Yeah, yeah. Y'all, yeah. I get a knock on the door. <laughs> Late at night, mm. hey man, your boy gone, and I'm just nah, like, well, where the fuck man. he went? You know, yeah, what I mean? yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It, it took me a while mm. to process that. They and you know they the the military do kind of give you like a decomp okay. type period. Okay, I okay, but to okay. This, okay. It's, to the, I like, mean, but I it ain't put, long enough. Like, I got put on cam guard to like try to like. Yeah, like, yeah, but that ain't real. Yeah. It is very, it is very hard, and I've like you know I, uh, I was raised in Louisiana, but prior to that, I was in Gary, Indiana, man. Oh, I'm used. That's where Michael Jackson come from. Yeah. To death. Yeah. I watched mm. my grandmother and her brother, my uncle, murdered in my face. Oh, I was damn. used to you know, death. Yeah. But that was a little mm. different, you know, because you got you understand that your grandparents ain't gonna be with you forever. Right, right, but right. But when right, you made right. a connection mm -hmm. over there, yeah. It's like like I said, man, like some of them prison movies we watch, like uh paid paid in fool, man. You yeah. see how it is? It's yeah. like, dang man, that dude was was a brother. Mm hmm but you didn't get to grow up with them. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it was it's it very rough. I, I was quite a few uh friends over there like quite a few friends at home man like I said wow. uh, I continue wow. to do what I do and at least uh you know honor them by doing uh, the right things in life. That, yeah. man, hey that's what's up. That bro. Makes sense. Hey hey shout out to you man. Boy, man line, bro. I had my 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 person that came to come visit me his name was Cash. Cash. And I, I took a little test in my daddy's house. I passed it for the Marines. When he showed I me that. Do you remember his name? That I ain't lying. Almost twenty years yeah, ago. Cash, man, and, and he recruited me. And when I watched that video, I closed that computer and said, "Never mind." <laughs> I, didn't, yeah, I did not <laughs> want to go there. I, I ain't even let nobody even talk to me, man. Hey. The way my daddy was, yeah. he scarred me from. I, like I didn't want to get on in no military. I didn't want to yeah. be around it. I, it's real, I hey. actually wanted to go because my uncle was in, but yeah, I yeah. stayed because of some coop. I should have went oh, on okay. yeah, You know you how that move. Yeah, it, yeah. So well, thank you back then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you back then. You would have been like Neapolitan ice cream, man. You could yeah. run your spoon through the whole thing, <laughs> or you could divide it in three. Yeah. <laughs> hey, there you are. There. When I was when I was seventeen years old, man, I I made up my mind because I want to say I was like tenth grade when the towers went down. Mm -hmm. I told my mama, I said, "Mama, if you don't sign mm -hmm. this paper today, and one year I'm gonna be over there." And you went. And, and she she didn't want to sign them papers. Wow. Uh, I love your mama, she, she, <laughs> but I called that recruiter to the house, and she pretty much had no choice. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So so you went over there when you was eighteen. Uh, I was nineteen when I first oh, got. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Wow. wow. 19, you went early, wow. early, bro. It's crazy. I was nineteen, twenty, turned twenty one, there and twenty two. I was overseas. Wow. I've deployed uh, seven times. Damn. That's crazy. All over the place. Seven, seven times. times. <laughs> <laughs> well, so what are some of the places you've been? Oh, oh, oh. I know you've been talking about that. Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Romania, loved it. Oh, Egypt, man. Egypt was amazing. Oh, what? Now I'm telling you, one of the places I love was Bahrain, and and uh, never heard of that before. It is a small country on, on the other side of Saudi Arabia in the Persian Gulf. They got more money, more money, more money. But what's even Shoot. what's even better for me was it was a, a U.S. Navy base there, mm. and boy, wow. the Navy, the, the Navy let they women get a little more weight on them over there. Mm. They oh. were thick, they thickening some niggas. Thickening the whole peanut butter. 
<laughs> and I'm talking about I loved it. And you know, I'm one of those people. I'm a people person, man. Yeah. You know, we, mm-hmm. we yep, worked yep. together before. Mm-hmm. And so over there, I'm just surrounded by culture, surrounded by diversity. I, I got to let loose. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. care if you're yeah. from California or fucking the Himalayas. That, that's I was on that ass. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Real talk. <laughs> you were young. Too? I got to yeah. get you. Yeah. 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 You from New yeah. Zealand? <laughs> Shit, I'm coming over. That, Bring that, the kiwi. I hear they coming. beautiful too, man. So I know you said you touched on, you touched on that you, you know, you. I'm, I'm gonna let you. I know you got one brand over there. You say you like to use you know, your uh, comedy. Have you ever did any kind of like stand up over there? Yeah. Uh, oh, not man. over there. I, that's that's probably one of my goals, man. And I met a guy. He come over. Uh, he was a primary, mm-hmm. and he come on like a USO tour. And you know, he uh, a lot of them had the same stores that we all have, and. Uh, he was doing the same, and then crazy. I bullshit you not, man. It's the craziest thing. I get a phone call from one of my buddies who's having a rough time, mm-hmm. and he's going through some stuff. And the guy who's comforting him is that guy that was telling us jokes overseas. Wow. And he's like, yo, oh, Pedro, I got to get you two to meet each other, man. Y'all are blending up together. And that man, he's a great guy. I don't know That's if I can up. mention his name, but he's comedian Eric Knowles, funny guy. Have you seen my special on Vet TV? <laughs> I'm not subscribed. You should subscribe, dude. It's like five dollars a month. I gotta get my rating up. Your, what? Your credit rating? <laughs> oh, you gotta get your VA rating up. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know why I assumed you needed to work on your credit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just fucking with him. Okay, not. I'm not trying to pick a fight with you, ma'am. I'm sorry. <laughs> Him I can handle. You I'm scared of. <laughs> yes, yes, ma'am. As, you As I was. Yeah. Okay. Back to... Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, be quiet. Yeah, shout guy. out. Shout out. Yeah, that's what's up, man. Great guy. Thank you, brother. Uh, like I said, you've been a true inspiration to me. And uh, hopefully, I, you know, I can give you something to laugh to. Yeah, that's real. For sure, for sure. That's real. Hey, man, you know, it's still mind-blowing how you keep a positive attitude, man, because a lot of people that go over there to the war, death. bro, they be messed up, bro. Oh, that's yeah. a lot of and, death, and, and, Yeah, and, and the stuff you're saying, like my guy brother, you tell me stories where he had to, you know, put a child down. Because it was running uh, up to him, yeah. I kind of uh, find out they, they did have you know some kind of explosive device strapped to him, mm. but he had to put him down, and you know it, it got his mind messed up to this day. Mm. Like, what what are some like traumatic things you've been through that you be like, damn, I can't believe I, I experienced that, and I'm still here. Like, what what are some of those moments? Uh, what are, I, you know, what about my first time going out? Now I'm an artilleryman, mm-hmm. so for the most part, I did get to shoot from a fire base. Right, right, right. And you know, occasionally they'll bring us like post blast analysis, and we get to see some of the after. Don't know what that is. Crazy. It's, it's made it. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's pretty much so. Yeah. Like there's there's an FO on the ground, mm-hmm. and or or anyone and anyone can actually call for fire. And we're okay. The artillery piece one five five, and basically they need whatever they need. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard to. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. But let's yeah, just say, yeah, well, yeah. let's keep it simple, man. Somebody need a big bomb to come flying in yeah. to take out a mass of people in front of them. Okay. Wow. Yeah. And so after so the they fact, call you. Yeah, they call us. Okay, okay. And uh, you know okay. I'm on there yeah. looking and jabbing. Suicide yeah. squad. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, like I said, we'll we'll, we'll fire that thing and then go out there. But if they got time, they normally give us PPA so we can make adjustments to our calculations. Okay. Because right. okay. y'all yeah. just y'all. So you. What you do is like you find the coordinates that need where it need to go, or they send a signal. Or I, well, you can't talk about that. Yeah, but but yeah. but, but, but yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not that cool. I'm not that cool. I'm just the guy who actually pulls Press the, the trigger. Button. Okay, we, it's, okay. A, it's, like, it's like a three step process. You got forward observers, fire direction, and the cannons. I'm on right. the cannon section. Okay, got they got you. some nerds in the middle, and all they do is uh, you know, eat uh, yeah. Doritos and Cheetos, and yeah. they come up with these fancy calculations because yep, yep, we're yep. shooting distances up. To 30 miles Damn. so and that guy on the ground he's like he gives the initial and he wants that bullet to land wherever he wants it to land so he's got to come up with his mathematics then uh they come up with their mathematics and it yeah. comes to us and we put that dope on the scope yeah mm. and we uh and we pull that <laughs> until they tell us the, yeah, 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 until yeah, yeah. they tell us that target is the scope yeah <laughs> pretty yeah. much that's how right. it, uh, that's right yeah, that's so, real though yeah. whatever so often, like i said they that's will send real. us pictures Cause you know we all went to school with you know yeah. next thing you know we over there they sending us bodies and buildings oh, and like, oh damn you know yeah. that's kind of suck you know, that's like, yeah, to yeah, open bro. up uh 
look at a picture and see what looks to be spaghetti oil spilt in a can. It's actually people. Wow. Ah. That, that was Whew. that was pretty. You know, That's scary. gruesome, bro. Yeah. That's traumatic. But, yeah. Every so That's often, rough. I got to go out and be like a like a, a improvisational infantryman. And uh, I think my first time I done that was my, with my buddy, man. I, you, you don't have any feelings. Mm-hmm. And for me, back in that time, I didn't have a girlfriend. Um, I didn't have no kids. Yeah, so yeah. in my head, I'm thinking if anybody was to die, let it be me. Not like, yeah, yeah. I understand but that. you're like you're you're playing the game. Not if you're going to die. You just yeah. Yeah. You know how you we went through all the training, mm-hmm. and every day is mm-hmm. a different day. Right. So it meant, mentally, you know, you're not there. So I was like my two best friends. They both was married, just had kids. Wow. I was more fearful for them mm-hmm. than right, I was right. myself. Yeah, lose, I didn't lose, even think about it. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Man. Well, I, 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 hey, look. I done had, like I said, I had homeboys. I done seen pictures of, of, of stuff over there, you know, and they look crazy. But I got to ask you this. Have you ever seen a camel spider? Oh, yeah. What's oh, that? yeah. <laughs> a hey. big-ass spider hey, what is that runs they fast. fast. They used to fight some things yeah. with scorpions, Alien man. type shit? Now, it looked like it. <laughs> one thing about me, one thing about me, I'm from Louisiana, baby. Oh, yeah. And, and <laughs> we don't play with wild out here. Unless we eat that motherfucker. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
She did. That's sixty-two. Yeah. So now I'm I'm forty, and you know I'm like, <laughs> I'm like it's never too late, never yeah, too late. Yeah, yeah. yeah. as long as I'm breathing, we That's take. But with that being right. said, though, um, you can do whatever you put your mind to. Couldn't you do those things in tandem, like be in the military and do content, like yeah. as a. That's you know people what I'm who do it like. Uh, so that's guys right now that's uh, that's had have been and are playing professional sports. Now, in in my prime. Oh, I'm talking about to be comedy, a, like a competitive power lifter. So I'm one of those oh. guys that's like, I want everything to be in my advantage. Yeah, I don't want nothing to slow me down. Yeah. And yeah, I hate to say it, but uh, the only thing that slowed me down has been two titties and a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that, yeah, that'd be us. Yeah. That, that's been all me, though. Yeah. That's, that's been all me, though. Every yeah. time I yeah. got to where yeah, we'll I needed to be, some, somebody can relate. It would have yeah. broke down. You know what I mean? I'd have, you know, I'd have put up Olympic numbers. Yeah. Olympic numbers. And guess what? I didn't get hurt. Give, give, give me some of them numbers. Throw some of them numbers out there. Uh, my, my best bench press is 535. Mm. Oh, that's what's up. I've ah, never ah. been hurt physically, only emotionally. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's how I do, bro. I want to tell your ass up. Tell your yeah. ass up. Yeah. I'm like, I'm yeah. Quite a few of them. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, me too, bro. That's some, true. some of it done to my damn self. That's yeah. for sure. It's all no. been me. Yeah. You know, I was out there chasing butt cheeks. Should have been chasing the bar. Yeah. 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 And I fell off yeah. the bar. And then every so often I had to re get it back, re get it back. And if you think about it, man, I, all the time I put in wasting uh, taking care of other people. If I had been taking care of myself, I probably would have broke the record. Well, I mean, that's I mean, that's I mean, real talk. I was there. That's some real shit there. to say there, yeah. Bo. So yeah. that's, that's one of those things where I talk about. It's like, for me, I've been, you know, trying to do everything all at once to us. Like, damn, how much can I do? Yeah. How, what do I need to do? Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm burning myself out trying to be super Negro. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they going to let you do it. Too. That is on my chest. I'm <laughs> yeah. just curling half. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All you can be. I really yeah. was. Yeah. Man. yeah, yeah. We can relate to that shit. What you about to say, bro? Nah, I was just gonna. I was gonna piggyback off that. I mean, yeah. a lot of the situations you go through, you know, you don't channel your energy or or what you go through. I mean, you try to do everything at once. You try to do a lot of things, yeah. and you spread yourself thin. You yeah, know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. And you don't exactly. reach the levels you want to go to. Mm-hmm. Now, you can perfect a lot of different things, but your most most successful people are successful in a craft, and then you know they branch out branch on other things. Yeah. Yeah, that makes Message. Sense. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, I was looking up know some stuff earlier today, like a. Uh, the dude who invented French fries was a doctor. Like, wow! Man, it's like motherfucker was saving motherfuckers' lives, but I don't think he remember for us the damn French fries. <laughs> man, killing them, you know? <laughs> eating the fries, eating the cholesterol. Yeah, like, man, I ain't no <laughs> that's, that's crazy. crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, I, I, I didn't know that either, bro. No, I mean, was that an accident? The, the, the potatoes fell into that <laughs> grease. Most of the time, it probably was. I, mean, I ain't read the story, okay, okay, but most of the time was like yeah, cornflakes yeah. and shit. Yeah. One popular version of the French fry origin story holds that in the late 17th century, in what is today the Meuse Valley in Belgium, people regularly would fry small fish as one of their staple foods. When there was no fish, they would cut up potatoes into thin strips to mimic the shape of a small fish, and then they would fry those. But why do Americans call them French fries? The first is Thomas Jefferson and others began cooking potatoes in the French way. This implies an early adoption of what was called the French technique, which was deep frying. The second explanation comes from Ireland. In Old Irish, to French something means to cut into small pieces. When the great Irish migration to the U.S. occurred starting in 1845, they brought with them to the United States the dish of French potatoes, which were fried. They then became French fries. The country of France really doesn't have anything to do with it. To hear this story and many others, listen to Everything Everywhere Daily wherever you listen to podcasts or click on the link in the bio. Yeah. 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 Cornflakes was an accident? Cornflakes was an accident. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Let's yeah. yeah. feed them to uh, uh, mental patients. Wow. I was like, oh, shit. You know, uh, this is easy. The bro. connection. Uh, million dollars. Dang. Kellogg's made a million brother, dollars. Dang. I can't remember the first name, but the Kellogg's, that's what it was. Yeah. It was at a, um, a mental institution, an asylum up north. Wow. Yeah. Y'all yeah. eating the Frosted Flakes That's yeah. saying You learn something every day Back in them days yeah. Yeah. Nah, they yeah. were They were extra nice They were all all had the, the, sugar the on them. pop culture foods That we eat today Were all either accidents Or because they ran out of ingredients mm-hmm. That's good They ran out of, ran out of ingredients And, 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 and Prop 2 gave you something Better than what they had Yeah And that's wow. how, that's how yeah. I try to be yeah. You know with, yeah. with this funny stuff A lot of stuff is like that Yeah Yeah That's real That's crazy Yeah man Um, I got one more question Oh yeah brother do you feel that what's going on now? Because now they, they open back up the draft. You know what I mean? Do you feel that was the right decision for the United States to make? No. No. Can you elaborate uh, on that? I'm one of those. I believe that uh, 
everybody should go and that you you will be afforded a certain amount of opportunities if you do true um you know like kind of like overseas in those smaller countries those third world countries like south america uh africa as well as the middle east where you become a certain age and you got to do time there but i think that should be a a uh like an active force and a reserve force. Everybody joins the reserves. Mm-hmm. And while you're in the reserves, you know, you're learning something yeah, yeah, that you can benefit because you don't have to stay. Mm-hmm. You That's don't right. have to stay. You mm-hmm. don't even have to stay and fight. But let's just say another war happens. And, um, uh, you know, back in World War One, World War Two, we were so uh, ecstatic to get rid of the, the Axis powers mm-hmm. that we went in droves to join and the women went in droves to build, yeah. to do yeah. everything we was doing while we wasn't there. Yep. Right. Now, yep. now, what I don't think... Well, what I'm afraid that won't happen is if that was to be another case of that, it would be people who sign up and be over there and it'd be a whole bunch of people crying back here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I mm-hmm. think that if you gave them that, you know, that initial, that, that, that two year with knowledge or, you know, everybody would learn, give them, a, everybody get a trade school. Mm-hmm. And I mean, I, I, I shoot artillery, right. but guess what? Um, I got a fork life license. I mm-hmm. uh, almost got a CDL. There's so much that you do get, whether you're combat or not, mm-hmm. that, mm-hmm. you know, you should be one leg up on the competition when you yeah. get out. You yeah. got a real. master's That's degree. That's real. Hey, so, congratulations, bro. Yeah. 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 my name up. Hey, hey, sure do. Sure you know do. Sure sure do. Sure do. Sure do. But I think, man. like, yeah. you know, like, if that's the case, you know, we all uh, give up them two years. It could be something like in high school where you just kind of learn kind of like JRTC. Yeah, that's extended. what I, I was like in JRTC there. extended. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, look, man, you ain't got to join the Army, but guess what? There are going to be some you people that are trying to come over here and, and yeah. do some things to your country. Hey, man. I, I, you can do I, something to your country. You, he got real country <laughs> to say that. Though. Yeah, I, I just want to tell you, man, Like I, I appreciate the speech, yeah. man. I, I mean it, bro, but I ain't going. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, I ain't we appreciate so, your service, though, for real. Yeah. But the point is is that when it comes when to it you. Comes, yeah. Though, yeah. When it comes, though, yeah. When it comes to you. Yeah. Because we use, you can look on that map, man. We undefeated. Yeah. And yeah. but everywhere was been away games. We had no home games. Yeah, that's <laughs> real. Yeah, that's real. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. had no home games. Yeah, that's real. Talk, bro. Talk. Talk. Count the civil war stuff. Yeah, like yeah. That. yeah. But yeah. you come. Hey, yeah. we been tired. Of, we got a, a, our away record is but, impeccable. But are you are you worried about that though? Are you worried about them? No, not coming home. Uh, no, not uh, you. I don't uh, think they would try. Yeah. I mean, not, I, they'll be not crazy. Not in a conventional sense. Uh, hey, yeah. Yeah. Maybe like some like hacking or uh, nine eleven. That's, that's the only. That's the only way. Yeah, the Chinese, what we see yeah. in the different yeah. in, uh, cities across the yeah, country. I think, as far I think, as like, I think that'd be a bad. What we do to our children? Right. Yeah. It I see be a, a civil decision. war happen before I see that happen. Yeah. 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 I would civilly open up my safe. I agree with you. My safe is going to civilly open up. I tell you that there's some stuff in there. But um, what 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 are some other things that you're looking forward to do? In the future, with, with the you know, with the military, uh, uh, one of my favorite things I, I like the the mentor mentee man. Everywhere, everybody I see, That's real. Uh, everybody I meet, regardless of rank, upper or lower, my job is to put a smile on your face and, and give you some knowledge. Indeed, That's real. Give Indeed. you some knowledge, uh, and I, I really do enjoy that. I think mm-hmm. that's what one that I <clears throat> and it was probably going to be one of the things. Then I'm gonna miss, but I think it's so much that I'm well, gonna I thought be I had to get a uniform, spit cup for your ass. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Yo, you stupid boo. <laughs> hey, that one no, I had no agree. You know what? <laughs> 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 What is wrong with Pedro? For <laughs> <laughs> real though, man. Hey, man. Yo, he's stupid. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think it's enough of that, man. You know, because you know, it should be more of that. You know, like like, like mentoring for especially That's people real. these days, because yeah. you know, you want to go out here and be in gangs and run the streets. You know what I'm saying? But if you want to take that anger out, why don't you just go to the military? And, oh, yeah. and, and, and you use that fight. anger. Yeah. If you want to fight so bad, yeah. why don't you go try to shoot. protect the country? You know yeah, what I'm saying? Real. But that's, that's real What's like that? battle right there. See, what, I tell people, what I tell yeah. people is, though, and it's, it doesn't matter what the situation is, don't run from something to something else. Yeah. Because whether you know it or not, it's already there. Yeah. That's yeah. going yeah. to catch up with you. Too. Yeah. Yeah. There's motherfuckers selling dope in the military, too. Yeah. I believe So. You ain't running from it. Yeah. Trust me. It might yeah. feel like it, but you ain't running from it. You, it's one of those things you got to be committed to doing mm-hmm. the right thing and uh, at the right place at the right time. Yeah. That's especially when nobody's watching. Yeah, that's, that's real. real. That oh, integrity. Yeah. I that boy, that right. boy stand yeah. positive. Yeah. 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 I know yeah. that's right. He ain't black. Yeah. 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 That's real, man. Like, <laughs> hey, man. That, like, like, like I said, man. I'm still astonished that like you don't act like 
you you don't you don't act or look like what you've been through. You, okay. you don't you have to, yeah. Like, hey, y'all remember as kids when you when you ran to a drug dealer, he always talked you out of it. Today yeah. they got drug dealing classes, man. Yeah, yeah. they got drug dealing <laughs> universities. Yeah, they did. <laughs> you know, yeah. you want to be better than yeah. they do. Mm-hmm. It's That's like real. the same way you go, man. That's like, real. The same thing. It's like, look, man. It's what's for me is for me. That's yeah. real. I can yeah. only give you my picture of it and see whether you gonna like it or not. Yeah. 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 yeah, they did, man. Play sports, do and something like yeah. They always did, oh, yeah. man. That's real. Yeah, hey, man. it's not the same anymore, bro. I know plenty nope. of people who went in the military to play sports, man. For real? I would, oh yeah, shit. I was just joining. My cousin I would have joined to get, get you me out. a charge. Yeah, that got you out of the war too. My cousin, man, he's, he's <laughs> still in the air force the right war. now. That got you out of the war. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, that's hey. a rough. That's a hey. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what though. I don't know. I play. I play collegiately, man. But. Boy, that's some. I, I heard that's some of the toughest sports to play, boy. But in the military, yes. And yeah, then, oh, man, you, what? Like I said, like depending on what level, yeah, you oh, get man. so many benefits to where you, I, I know guys. And they to already pro y'all up with steroids. Pro. He's yeah. stupid, y'all. Take pro. <laughs> Brother, <laughs> Brother said all the time, ain't moving now, bitch. He said, yeah. <laughs> you, got a, you got his ring here, you know what I'm saying? So every now and again, y'all ain't see that. Y'all ain't see that. <laughs> <Y'all ain't> see <laughs> that. Those they were right, vitamins. Man. They were vitamins. They had, they a little, had a little French stone guy on it. <laughs> yeah. 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 Hey, but you ain't never like some of the biggest dudes I've ever seen has been at the gym on base. For real? Yeah. <laughs> I believe I just, that. I just Look at him too, like you strong, motherfucker. Yeah. G for the whoop me in his butt. Nah, hell <laughs> nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> got, got to keep that. Seen so many big dudes before. Really, man, man. Hey, man. You, man. I, I I I I can't I can't stop sending him. I appreciate you, bro. <laughs> no, I ain't you, lying, man. but thank you, man. Hey, tell everybody how they can get in contact. With you. Hey, man. I'm on fa- uh, Facebook. That's comedian King Pedro. Uh, hashtag yeah, Grams with the Yams. That was back when I was in my old lady phase. <laughs> uh, <laughs> on, uh, Instagram at iron underscore prime underscore eight. That used to be my powerlifting phase, but most of the time I'm on there telling jokes. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. I'm, for I'm, sure. Uh, I'm conveniently located in Raleigh for all your uh, thick ninja needs. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. He still got to go in there, boy. <laughs> you know he do. Hey, to all yeah. my big girls, two ten to get you in, and if yeah. you wait less than that, you better break a friend. Oh, <laughs> he like a big girl. Yeah, yeah, you know, Watch out with the BB dog. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That hey, man. Y'all boy got to get you in. Head, man? Nah, man. I'm well, good. look, man, before we let you go, man, got something for you, man. All right, oh, what we got, bro? What we got? That y'all comedy presents Pedro Santana Rice, the best military man in the world. We appreciate that. I sure appreciate that, my boy. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Right. I appreciate right. you, bro. Get me teary eyed, man. Because yeah, yeah. I'm emotional, like Carl Thomas. I know you. I'm trying. <laughs> I don't so appreciate y'all, man. Yeah, man. For real, man. Well, right. You know, right. you know, uh, taking the time out, the man, to come tell your story, man. Oh, yeah. You know, hopefully it uplifts somebody, man. That's that's, oh, yeah. that's probably going through something and don't feel like they don't got a voice to say nothing. You know what I mean? Or maybe Most having definitely. thoughts about joining the military, man, or whatever the case may be, mm-hmm. man. Yeah. Like you said you can hit this man up, talk to him. He'll be more than happy. To tell you anything you want to know, he don't mind sharing the knowledge and that, and that's what makes him real right there. Oh, yeah. Real talk. Anytime, yeah, man. People, anytime. Yeah, yeah. man. Uh, anything y'all boy got there? Nah, man. We appreciate yeah. you serving and protecting sure. our country, man. Yeah, yeah, man. Keep keep drawing people in, man. We we need more like you. Yeah, for real, for real. And I and I personally want to thank y'all for taking time out of y'all busy oh, days yeah. to invite me to come up. Ah, we want to do it. Make, make me feel though. like I'm at home, man. Yeah, yeah, right. You, right. you are, man. Yeah, you yeah. are. I sure yeah, appreciate right. it, man. Yeah. Yeah. We go away, and if you know me. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe. Man, this fella that right is- here go way back. Oh yeah, you want to know what? Yeah. You get the singing. Go the other way because the draws is just gonna break. <laughs> <and fall off. laughs> he ain't lying. He ain't lying. I'm just telling. <laughs> you know what he do, man. <laughs> hey man, <laughs> do make it. sure y'all uh, email us at backyardcomedy3 at gmail oh, yeah. if you got any questions. Uh, as always, I got my boy. Oh, excuse me, baby. Please say the baby. Yeah, I already know that. That really doody I got right there. I'm right here. I'm your boy Vocals 26. Shout out to Pedro man for coming through. We appreciate y'all and we love y'all as always.